Oh. Yeah. Do you see the steam coming off that? I am going to steal your hush puppy before you know it. Bam! Oh. Have you ever heard of that story about that guy named Pete? He's a little lazy, mm. but he makes a mean catfish. Amanda, do you not mean Lazy Pete's the restaurant? Yeah, that's a guy! That's where we're at, Amanda. It's right here in Little Rock, because we heard from you viewers at home that Pete makes some great catfish, but apparently Pete's not so lazy because the menu has a lot of options and I'm ready to try it. I think we get to take it easy and be a little lazy and we have Pete bring us the good stuff. Let's eat it up, Pete! We are kind of a seafood place with a little bit of Southern mixed in. Mainly seafood, but we're also catfish, fried chicken, uh, burgers, that sort of thing. It's really just, just the kind of food I grew up eating and the stuff I enjoy. Fried catfish, that's our kind of our number one seller. Fried fresh, you know, then we pair it with a coleslaw we make in-house fresh every day. Our fries are cut ourselves. Hush puppies are the same. Cooked fresh when you order it, so nothing's been sitting in a steamer. Or... Catfish is local, um, either Arkansas or Mississippi. Oysters, redfish, shrimp, all that kind of stuff comes up from Louisiana twice a week. I think they were kind of laid back. We've got a lot of regulars that we know and kind of a family vibe to it. Laid back but not lazy? Not always lazy. So when we can get away with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see the steam coming off that? Talk about fresh. Oh, Freshly breaded, mm. fresh seafood. The catfish is hot and it is ready to be eaten. It's just how we like it. Look, you guys did not let us down. When you recommended Lazy Pete's for the catfish, that was an excellent suggestion. It's like the smart people know what's going on here. Well, now nope. we're in the in crowd and you got to join us because this place has got it going on. So shrimp and grits, they're speaking to me. They just shrimp look so good. Grits, a classic Southern cuisine. Oh, man. Creamy. Again, you get the butter notes. You got a little bacon on oh, top. Oh, my word. Pleasantly surprised. Holy moly. I am ready to dive into this now. I mean, look at the size of these things. He did not. Um, he did not. <laughs> he did not. He did not. He did not let me down on this one. <laughs> You're really, really good. We're getting emotional. Hayden and I have plenty of things in common, but among those is our love for all things New Orleans. Scott, come on, the people, the history, the music, but more importantly, the, the food. food. And today we're eating it up at Maddie's Place. And Maddie's Place has been serving up New Orleans dishes for 14 years with a Southern twist. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's eat it up. up. It's Maddie's Place, named after my daughter, and we also have Austin's Bar. I made it for the sun because I have 14 year old twins. It's just a fun, casual restaurant with really good food. Right back. You walk in here, you're going to run into people you know almost every single time. I mean, we take a lot of pride in the products we sell here. We don't cut corners, everything's made in house. Reminisce a bit about your time in New Orleans. It was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's where I started working for Emeril Lagasse. You learn how to use the best products you can and do more with them just from living in New Orleans. And it's all about building flavor. There's a reason the dishes are the way they are. And just to make your mouth go, wow, what did I just eat? Yeah. And that's what we're all about here. Wow. Yeah. What is your favorite menu item here? The salmon or the buttermilk fried chicken? The buttermilk chicken or the shrimp and crawfish pasta. Ooh. Uh, definitely the shrimp and grits as far as entrees go. It takes about three days to make the sauce for it. Every special, you know, we get salmon, we do probably four whole salmon a week. And we're only open five days. So I mean, it's gonna be fresh, it's gonna be delicious, and it's, it's super popular. Wait for it. Bam! What does it mean to you to be in this neighborhood? Oh, it means the world. I love this neighborhood. I mean, they all support us. You know, we all know who they are. The great neighbors with the Fader Rose and Buffalo Grill, you know. There's still people that don't know us, but once I get you through the doors and let you come eat, you will be back. And this is like a New Orleans thing, is that banana bread. Save you a trip, get it right here in Little Rock, because it tastes like New Orleans. Oh Chili God. garlic dipping sauce oh, with gator bites. That's good. 501 to the 504, like mm. that. You see it everywhere, but here, man. A little Arkansas spin. A little Arkansas spin. A little Arkansas spin. Of course, here with too. the shrimp, yeah. yeah. Fried tomatoes. Ooh. Oh, they slid. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look at that. I love it. I love it. Got some of that chili sauce. I've there. eaten so much, I've lost my fork. You know, we haven't tried sushi in quite some time on Eat It Up, so I brought our very own expert, Hayden Valgavi, along today. Very happy to be here, Scott. Used to be intimidated by sure. sushi, a lot like you are, but let me tell you, I brought you to Sushi Cafe West in Little Rock. We are in the best of hands. The best of hands indeed. In fact, the owner left Little Rock 40 years ago with one mission, to bring back good, authentic sushi, and he's done just that. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's eat it up. It was very, very important to my parents who started you know, all of our businesses and all of our companies um, that we give back to the community and give back to those that support us. We always try to find spots that are uh, conducive to um, fulfilling a neighborhood need. So this is our neighborhood location for everything Asian fusion, everything Asian flavor. Um, we also serve some Malaysian dishes. We also serve some Chinese dishes. We have a full hibachi menu. We also have a full uh, kitchen item menu. You know, California rolls, can't go wrong with that. You know, crunchy shrimp rolls. Those are the two things that I feed my kids whenever they look at me and say, I don't want raw fish. <laughs> we have some of the best traditional sushi items here. Uh, we've got one of the best chefs in town, if not the best chef in town. We uh, lovingly refer to him as Uncle Ray. Uncle Ray, thank you, you're the best. Oh, you're welcome. I hope you like it. So all this sushi you're about to eat, are you nervous? I am a little nervous. Get out of my comfort zone a little bit. I'm going to try something new. I'm getting on the boat. The octopus balls. That's what I'm going to start okay. with. Okay. Now this is like the equivalent of street food in Japan is what they've told us. You can immediately taste the homemade sauce. Ahi tuna tataki. And shrimp ceviche. If you'd like to take a dab on highly that. recommended. Right? Very, very much so. The imperial tower. There's so much flavor happening in my mouth right now. Sun. Wow. Hayden's showing off the pad thai. It's one of the most popular items on the menu. Not only can they make this dish gluten-free, you can change your order up a little bit. You can customize it. Everything they make here mm. is made to order. It's, it's time for the boats. The big damn bridge. The big damn bridge. Mm. And the number one most the popular bomb. I don't even know what's in the bomb. It's good, whatever it is. Shout out Uncle Ray. Is the Razorback roll. Okay. That's one of the most popular ones. Big sushi Razorback. I mean, like, that's that's pretty solid. When I asked Karen what type of food she wanted for her very first Eat It Up, she said that one magic word that I just love to hear: catfish. Uh one food, Scott, that I've been wanting to try since I moved back home to Arkansas. So we found Grandpa's Catfish and Seafood right here on Maumelle Boulevard. Now this place has been around since 1981. Let me tell you, it's a story of family and just good food. And Dad Gummit, Karen, I just can't wait any longer. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's eat, eat it up. up. Grandpa number two. Well, actually, I'm three. Oh, so, oh, yeah. That's my grandfather and my grandmother. That's grandpa number two. Two. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm back here in the orange. Karen, what I love about this photo. Yeah. They're they're playing kitchen. No. You had no other choice. The training program started <laughs> early. That's right. Scott has been here since he could carry a bus pan. He's up there running the register, seating the customers, doing all the things that need to be done, orchestrating the mess in the back. Scott is a maestro, and he can get it done. So Scott, you've not known anything else, really. It's fun. It's it's creative. <laughs> Everyone works. My wife works. My sister works. Occasionally, my brother comes and helps. Well, originally, Grandpa's uh, the little out-of-the-way spot on Mission Road. I was in South Carolina, uh, looked in copy of the Arkansas Democrat, and it said Catfish Restaurant for Sale. And then we purchased Grandpa's uh, 41 years ago today. And you've been in Arkansas ever since? Yes, wouldn't want to live anywhere else. What is it about your catfish that's, that's so good? Two things, it's simple, it's not complicated. Almost all of our proteins are, are hand breaded, touched by hand, they're not out of a bag in the freezer, and also we make them with love. We're not gonna send you something that any of the guys in the kitchen wouldn't eat themselves. Mmm, mmm. 
looks at the ingredients. What is it, S and P? Salt and pepper, baby. Salt and pepper. My, what are you going to go for first? I don't even know where to start. They have such a variety. I think I'm going to start with What are you waiting on, Karen? Yes, I know. Okay, what go, am I go, waiting go, on? Go. Yes, yes. I love the, the crispy batter. Oh, it looks so, so nice and light. Flaky. I'm, in, I'm so, so happy. Okay. Yes. 2,000 hush puppies a day. A day? And on Fridays and Saturdays, mm -hmm. double it. Then why not 5,000? Well, the, <laughs> I might as well because people will eat it. Scott or Nate will come and greet you. You get a hello. Yeah, and, and a conversation and a how you doing. And more hello. <laughs> We're here at Petite and Keaton West Little Rock. And yes, it's casual, but it definitely has an upscale vibe. Scott, he's sitting this one out. He said that there's someone that just has been begging to come along. Hayden Balgaby. Surprise. How you doing? <laughs> hey, you've been dying to come check this out. P and K, it's my great white whale. I've been waiting to conquer this whale, and today it happens. And we're going to become whales after the meal <laughs> they have in store. You ready to eat it up? Let's go. Let's go. It's very eclectic. I mean, it's kind of a gathering of a lot of different uh, inspirations. There's a little bit of an Asian influence, uh, a little Southern uh, fine dining without the attitude, maybe, you know, yeah, kind a of. A little bit more casual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A moment where you walk in and if you're by yourself, you feel at home. I would say it's extremely fun. There's uh, two different sides to the restaurant, you know, so in the dining room, it is lively, but it is a little more quiet, you know. If you came over to the bar side, you could hear people hooting and hollering. You can definitely find whatever vibe I feel like you're looking for, depending upon where you sit. Hayden, this place is huge. I mean, like, there's multiple dining room areas. It's just massive. There's even a second bar. What? Look at this. I oh, my this. gosh. Is this a place that private parties can use? Private parties opens up at five birthdays. I'm just telling you, October 2nd, you can find me here. First is the TC Tugger. I wanted to put a drink on here that you could have on the patio, but we're gonna add a little bit of tequila, mezcal for some nice smokiness, cassis noir, which is a black currant liqueur. Cassis. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> TC Tugger. That is phenomenal. So this is the bonfire. We're gonna start with bourbon, mezcal coffee liqueur, some frangelico, which is a hazelnut liqueur. I can already tell this is gonna be very warm, smoky. It's gonna be like oh, yeah. fall in a cup. Ooh. You can't have a bonfire, campfire drink without... Gotta have s'mores. s'mores. <laughs> okay, well that's good. <laughs> that tastes like October 2nd on a Friday night in the fall. That is phenomenal. Okay, so the scallops have got a little corn puree, something I've never had in my life, and some cabbage on top. And they've recommended to try to just get all of it into each bite. That it's is delicious. amazing. It's like you're getting multiple flavors in one. You're using so many fancy words. <laughs> Bang, pow. That's all you need to say. So these are called low country grits. That is really good. That's really good. It's super good. I love that shrimp too. I mean, that's some jumbo shrimp. Look at that. That's a big old shrimp. Hayden, did you ever expect that your carrot cake would have bacon on top of it? It's so good. I'm never going back to another life before this place <laughs> ever again. 